well, this is two binomials being multiplied by each other. They're just the same, so they just squared it. So the only tricky thing about this one is just kind of how it comes out. So we got the square root of 7x plus the square root of z. And we're going to multiply it by itself because it's squared. So the square root of 7x plus the square root of z, like this. Same idea as the last problem we just did. Uh, but now, well, I guess it's a little different because the numbers are. But the process is still the same. So I'm going to multiply this 7x, square root of 7x times 7x. Again, I'm going to write this step out even though not, not everyone needs it. So times uh, square root of 7x. Then I'll distribute it here as well. So those were the first. These are the outers. So I'm going to add square root of 7x times the square root of z. Now I'll distribute this z. So I got the square root of z times this. I'll take that back. The square root of 7x. And then plus the last, which is the square root of z times the square root of z. All right. Here's what we get on this first term. Here I've got the square root of something that's multiplied by the same square root, which means that if we had uh, multiplied those two together, well, I, I just have two pairs, a pair of 7x's which means I can pull it out of that square root, okay? This next term, we're going to have to multiply all this. So that's a 7xz now in the square root. And then I'm going to add, if I were to rearrange this term, I could get another square root of 7xz. All right, and then we got this last one, so this is plus. Here I've got a square root of a pair of z's. So I'm, I'm just going to have a z there. So why wouldn't you just... Right? Because, yeah, our, our first instinct on this is to say, well, I got a 7 here and a 7 here, so when I combine them, I get 14, right? But that's inside a square root. So really, and it may be helpful to show this, is I've got a 1 of those and I've got one of those here. So when I combine them, I've got two of those square roots. Oh, man, I didn't. Square roots of 7xz's on this. Well, I was thinking in the beginning. All right. And then we have the rest of this stuff. We just still have that 7x. And we still have the z. And uh, that would end up being a positive 2 times the square root of 7xz. And that's a positive z right there. So I don't see any other terms to combine or anything else to simplify in this, that's how I would leave my answer.